All right, let's see if we can get our hands on Azura's star. See if she'll even talk to us. You have entered a holy place. What is your business here? These are dark times, and people's minds are poisoned by rumors and superstition. Unless you can persuade me of your good intentions, I cannot speak further on this matter. Well, sure. What? I like doing the persuading thing. I don't care if I'm good at it. I just love their uh, their insults and their uh, little comments. You do well, you should. Is that so? <laughs> not now. Not yeah. later. Not well, ever. <laughs> oh well, man. Not fun. Good you're stuff. You're wasting your breath. You're you're wasting your goodness. Well done. Really? Get away f You're wasting... Please, I'm embarrassed. But thank you. I wish I could say... Ugh! What a one... Is that so? Remark. Not funny. Not even a... No. That's just talk. No. You're wasting your breath. Not funny. Remarkable. What a great s Ugh. Really? You can't scare me. <laughs> no. You can't scare me. Ugh. What a great story. This is the shrine of Azura, queen of the dawn and the dusk. What is your business here, traveler? If you wish to speak to the lady, visit her shrine at dawn or dusk. Leave her an offering of glow dust, and perhaps she will deign to speak with you. I'll be here. Nice. We should be good. I wonder if there's a minimum level cap on Azura. I think it's I think it's pretty low if there is. It's like five or eight or something. And some of the Daedric quests you can't even activate until you're like, oh, I don't know, 10, 12, 15, that type of thing. Probably based on the item it gives you. I have seen your name, Traveler, and heard it whispered in twilight. I ask a service which holds promise of fame and reward. Many years ago, five followers slew the vampire Dratic and its kin, but all are infected by the foul creature. Knowing their fate, they sealed themselves up in the vampire's lair. Their suffering weighs heavily on me. Travel to the gutted mine. The door will open to you. Bring the peace of death to my followers, and you shall earn my gratitude. Alright. Five vampires. One for each point of the star. It's a hell of a way to reward your followers. Put them rot away in a cave as vampires and then send somebody to put them out of their misery. Uh, the Deidre, um, doing their thing. Yet this item to me is the most useful, I think. There's other weapons and rings and armor and what have you that you can get from uh, some of the other Daedric quests, but this is the one that, that I think uh, definitely comes in handy more than anything else. Like, if you have black soul gems, this can keep you from dirtying up your black soul gems with, like, petty souls and things like that. So I'm sure we've all experienced that once or twice. And it's essentially just a, a constant source of uh, recharge for your weapon. Pretty much. Kill something, fill it up, empty it immediately, and rinse and repeat. And you can use it at the enchanting altar, too, if you fill it with a grand soul. Yep. Sure can. Next time I play through this game, we'll probably get this much, much earlier. Just to have it really comes in handy. Okay, where's the entrance to this cave? 
Am I just stupid? I think I just, uh, just walked right by it. Yeah, I was kind of dreading this early. This has always been a, a bit of a challenge. These vampires are no pushovers. It seems like they're uh, somewhat elevated or promoted or whatever, but tougher than most other NPCs you'll face in the game. But, uh, I, I, it's worth it. Wouldn't really want an easy quest, not for this particular item. Wouldn't even seem right. Hopefully we'll get some good gear out of this too. We should. Let me go ahead and activate this so we'll see where they're at. We certainly don't want all of them coming at us at once. That that probably won't end well. Good safe spot. Got to be here somewhere. There we go. I was about to say, there's usually one right up here at the entrance. Yep. Oh. And what was she, uh, what was she swinging? Oh, nice. Now, these are amazing. That is money right there. They only weigh, what, like 8, 10 units of weight each, and they're worth, well, they're worth as much as any merchant's going to give you. Unless you're, uh, what, unless your mercantile skill is maxed out or something. I think there's a way to get merchants to have more gold, but unless you have that, they're usually stuck around 1,000, 1,200. Those daggers are good for that each time. There's some potions that we'll pick up, too, as we go along. Here and there, it's just random. But uh, some of those things will be worth hundreds of gold each. I think there are some potions that are actually worth around a thousand, real close to it, and they only weigh like half a pound. That's money. That's really good, solid money, especially if you're trying to like buy all the houses and get all your houses decorated and um, furnished and stuff. Good stuff. Oh, is that a danger? Oh, that is. I, I think I want that. Show me what. Let's see what I got. I got a big spider buddy here. Oh, uh, here they come. Two at a time. Not cool. I'm not really sure if poison works on these guys. Certain enemies, if they're 100% immune, even 100% weakness to poison um, will have no effect. Ouch. Yeah. Oh, that's not so bad. Ow. Yeah, I'm absorbing most of that. Nice to have shielding. Not one. Fall before me, nice. Yeah, that's a pretty cool looking battle axe. Oh, look at how much it weighs, though. 76 pounds. That's nice. I especially like the handle with the spike on the end of it. That's really cool. The blade, uh, it, it's all right. The handle's awesome on that thing. Anyway, as much as that's worth, what, 3,600 gold? I still only get 1,000 for it. For 76 pounds? I'd rather sell something for 1,000 that only weighs like 10 pounds or 5 pounds or half a pound, you know? That's how I judge uh, an item's value in this game is pretty much how, how much it weighs. You can have two items both worth 1,000. One can be... Um, one can weigh like 10 or 20 times what the other one does. Well, that's, you know, there's only so much you can carry. Even if you have a ridiculous carry weight and feathering and everything else, still, there's, you know, I'd rather be able to carry 20 of something than just 5 of something. But now that Daedric armor, though, I mean, if I'm stuck on heavy armor anyway... You know what? I'll sure, uh, I'll sure roll with that. 
I was kind of liking this ebony. It was cool. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool, too. They can get the matching gauntlets and boots. Sure, we'll roll with that. Why not? It's cool. What's sad is the armor rating on that isn't a whole lot better than uh, the armor rating on some light armors. Although I don't really have my skills up in either one of those, per se. My next character, I'll probably have little, if any, skill. Um, mainly just training that stuff for um, for attributes. You can't train in heavy armor for uh, endurance. But other than that, if you're wearing clothes, there's really not much need for it. If you can't tell, the more I think about it, the more I'm looking forward to uh, playing through this again. Doing a few things different. Go for that katana earlier in the game, too. I'm, not, I'm still not using it now. I haven't bothered to go enchant it all. I'll bring you guys along when I do. I'll go, uh, I still like to find a bow. Doesn't really matter so much uh, what kind it is, as long as it looks cool, you know. That's more important than anything else. <laughs> At least as far as I'm concerned. Yay, free lockpicks. One thing I would like to see them do in the next Elder Scrolls, I, I'm... Well, if I was a betting man, I would bet that they don't, but I would like to see it, is uh, the loot drop rate on certain things go down a little bit. Soul gems, lockpicks, stuff like that. Where you're not necessarily required to be in certain guilds and things to uh, get more of these items and have access to them, but at least make it a little harder. You know, I remember in Skyrim, I mean, everybody drops lockpicks. Everybody drops the soul gems. I'd like at the beginning of the game. And it's like, you know, those things early on, those things are, you know, if, if they're so plentiful, why isn't everybody just running around enchanting? Enchanting tables are everywhere. Why isn't everybody doing that? You know, in this one, you have to earn the right to enchant, first and foremost. And that's a huge thing with me. Um, and then once you do... Um, you have to have the stuff to enchant with, and I, I think it should be something that you should have to, you know, go obtain, rather than just walk into any old random cave. Oh, great, 19 grand soul gems. Here, I can enchant my next five sets of equipment for free. You know, what is that? Anyway, it'd be nice to see the uh, the drop rate go down a little bit on, on stuff like that. Lockpicks, where break fewer of them, or have to spend your gold to go buy some, if you're part of the Thieves' Guild. If not, then, you know... You'll still find lockpicks with other merchants, but it'll be like one or two. Whereas they're almost unlimited with the thing. Give you a, a reason. You know, some kind of perk for being part of a, a particular faction or guild, you know? I've fought mud crabs more fearsome than you. Got her. Should have poisoned that. This would be over. Well, actually, I don't know if poison was working. Okay, enough of this. Nice. Oops, I was trying to heal. Yep. Try this again. There we go. Oh, finally got her, huh? I see a bow sitting there. I see my spider is trolling my loot. <laughs> uh oh, it's already enchanted. Well, it's worth some money. I can carry it. Oh, that's fun. Oh, wow. Look at this. I'll take all those. Yes, sir. I'll take that, too. Nice drop right there. Okay, well, this looks like a hidden passage, if you ask me. This is where the good stuff is supposed to be, right? Oh, 
Are you serious? Boo. That's no boss chest as far as I'm concerned. I got that shit just escaping the sewers at the beginning of the game. What kind of crap is that? Oh well. I did find some uh, Daedric armor though. So. Definitely worth the trip. It's a shame to sit there and leave that too. Look at that. Daedric Cure. Curus. Ebony shield. I can't quite carry it. I only have like three more pounds. Damn it. I could feather myself. I, I just never sit there and bother making feather potions and stuff. I, it's not that big of a deal to me. I like stuff as much as the next guy, but um, making a few extra trips to the merchant has never been a big deal. I like going and checking with the merchants anyway. Exercise mercantile skill and maybe persuade some folks to give you better deals and all that good stuff. It's never really been an issue. All right, well, um, I guess that's pretty much it. We've been through here already? I think so. Maybe not. Okay, that's the way out. I think I missed one side passage over here. That's about it. Go get our reward from Azura and then uh, probably make our way to, hmm, I guess Coral. It's where we were told to meet the Gray Fox for whatever he wants us to do after this. I guess we could go do that. Still have some Fighters Guild stuff to do, too. I think we're pretty close to the end of that. I don't really remember the end of the Fighters Guild quest line. It's not, it's not something I really went out of my way to do, for the most part. There was nothing... I don't remember getting anything out of that quest that it was like a must-have item. You know, like that one thing that I'm really looking forward to type thing. I, I don't know. Maybe they'll surprise me. Maybe they'll have a cool set of, I don't know, heavy armor or something as a reward. I don't know. We'll see. What is your wish, you who have been blessed by Our Lady's voice? The Great Lady has spoken. To you alone, the moon and star shall be your guide. Go then. Thank you, mortal. Their spirits are free. And henceforth, above my shrine, Five bright candles shall burn forever in memory of this sacrifice. For your service, take this token, that your deeds might be entered in the Book of Fate. Nice. And you can see their candles burning up there. In memorial. Do great deeds, seek out your fate. You get fame for doing these too. It's kind of, sort of like the karma thing in Fallout. Sort of. Like, you know, if your fame is, what, too low, then you can't use some of those shrines to heal your, your curses and diseases and stuff. That type of thing. Anyway, so I'm going to go sell all my junk and then probably head to Coral and see what trouble we can get into there. Who knows what's next? Thanks for hanging out. See you on the next one. If you want to subscribe, you haven't already, click that button up top. If you want to catch the rest of this playthrough, you can click that image in the middle. It should send you straight to the playlist. And, uh, alright, thanks for hanging out. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye.